Okay, uh, press on. So we got some gang activity here. There's a car accident outside the Starbucks. I don't know, car four five five zero. APB. I don't know who this officer is yet. So, I know this blue car is involved, but I don't know what other car. Try and read the officer's name, but I can see it. Berkman. I can't see the other street. Oh, I can almost see his name. As soon as he took a right, boom. So these two guys are together. I don't know where she is. She left. Hit and runs are a serious offense. Uh, not only that, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. So they're a city ordinance. They're not supposed to be like camp around it. And so there's actually like oh, there was a black one that was in the Oh really? Yeah. There's so there's there's actually like a buffer zone that goes around. So if we call out, so they all have GPS inside of there. Yeah, so when we call out for one, our dispatch, the way they do it, they just put the GPS. Well, there's a buffer zone that's just around around us whenever it goes out, and so it's they won't show up on the screen, and so they won't they won't show that there's close to one because there's the huge close. And, uh, yeah, so it, it, but it, it's it's all about the way the city ordinance is written, and that way kind of kind of keeps it fair for all the other uh, state companies. And like that, so. I'm not sure what they're talking about. See his badge number seven five five zero. Oh yeah. I just had a hip replacement. Oh no. Yeah. And I was like, when I got out, I felt okay. But I'm like, since yeah. I sat down and got back up, I'm starting to steal. Uh, oh, I just hope that she didn't knock me loose. Might be Butler. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so far everything's good. Oh, no. You don't have to have your insurance. Spitler. Spitler. Officer Spitler. 7550. Sorry, I was, was going to come back. I just had to scan that Wait, I think it's 75. See if they made all officers like these to let you film like this in peace, you know. It'd be a beautiful world.
They're having a nonchalant day. Shorts and cuffs. Oh, she's here. I was just going to ask you if the other lady took off. No, no. She, she had a nail appointment. I thought she had a doctor's appointment. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Which car is she driving that? Yeah. All right. Yep. So she hit you? Coming across, I was taking a right, and when I took a right, I just like bam! I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> you know, I mean, I kind of, I saw her coming, but I, I didn't. I thought that she was maybe gonna turn. But she didn't turn, and then by that time, I was like, "Hey!" I was hitting my brakes. I was like, "Shit, too late!" She was like, "Bam!" And then I looked around. I said, "I know I didn't have a stop sign because I've been over here before." You know, I was going to the ATV, and I said, "I know I didn't have a stop sign." And that dude said, "No, you didn't. <laughs> she had to stop that. You had to right away." I got two witnesses. You had the right away. Yeah. They don't really assign blame, though. <laughs> the cops, I mean. They just yeah. exchange information, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. your insurance companies can battle that yeah, out. Exactly. They got a racket going, at least. I don't know about in this city, but in some cities, they charge to get that police report. Uh-huh. It's like $6 or $8 or something. Uh-huh. But it's very poorly written. Right. It's a racket. <laughs> Well, the thing is, is, at least you're okay. You say, I heard you say you're getting stiff, though. But well, I just had hip replacement. Hip replacement. Yeah. So I might need to get a check. Hopefully, it didn't knock that loose. Hip replacement's no joke, man. Uh-huh. Nope. I don't wish that on anybody. Looks like you got a new car there too. So why miss your nail appointment just because you get in an accident? That's no excuse to miss a nail appointment. You know what street this is? This is uh, Garcia. Garcia. Yes, sir. All right. Right across from the neighborhood emergency center. What kind of car is that? Huh? What kind of car is that? That's a uh, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Yeah, let's see if there's what the damage is on this vehicle. So her damage is on the right side, and his damage is on the right side. Now I'm confused. Both the damage is on the right side. So wait. Okay, huh? you were going you were coming straight through here? I was coming this way. On I'm on that other street, on Berkman. On Berkman? Yeah, and I was turning right here was Garcia. Turning left onto uh-huh. Garcia. And I was turning right. Oh, from there you were coming that way. I was coming this way, I was going to turn right. Uh-huh. And she was coming across the street from that way. She was coming across? Yeah. That intersection? Uh-huh. Coming this way. Oh. Through the stop sign. Oh, and you. Uh, she had a stop sign like that car's going that way. Yeah. She was coming this way. She was coming here to this place right here. And you were turning left onto this street. I was taking a right. A right onto this street. This street. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see. A right, and I tried. To, I tried to hit my brakes in, but I mean, she never stopped. She never even like hit her brakes at all. If she would have hit her brakes, she could have avoided me. Or if she would have swerved, she could have avoided me. I see. Okay, that makes sense. Because yeah. yeah, her damage is on the right side, yeah. and yours is also on the yeah on the driver side. All right. Are you getting towed, man? Yeah. yeah I mean, it's it's that 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 that's that's poor deal. Yeah. It's like- I 
Officer Spittler. So Officer Spittler is having a bit of a powwow with what looks to be an old friend. Maybe another officer. So what was the officer telling you about codes and like camping out near something or other? Uh, the, the tow trucks. Oh, the tow trucks camping out. Yeah, they can't camp out. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> I see. He left and then came back. Because he was sitting right there. He knew it was us. Oh, trying to be slick, but they can't do that? Nah. He said they can't do that. Huh. Interesting. Another one goes on the hook. At least you're taking it with a grain of salt. Yeah. For sure. You got somebody picking you up? Well, at least there's a Starbucks. That guy was part of it? Huh? That guy was part of it? No, that's the son. She didn't have an up-to-date insurance card. So, she had to come bring one. Oh. Uh, she had to come bring one. I see. Look at this guy. He's going to secure the bumper for the camera. I don't usually do all this. The signatures going around. I doubt that they're going to tow that car. Oh, he's doing an inspection. Good old Spiller inspecting the offending vehicle. So security just came out of this room. Maybe he went to Starbucks. I'm not sure if this officer is done. Are you all done, officer? Are you all done? No. Oh. Not, not just yet, no, sir. All right. All right. Looks like he's got a ticket. Putting it in his pile of tickets for the day. I guess it's possible that he wrote that lady a ticket. I don't know for sure, but... No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm just filming the police. How are you doing today? Doing well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Looks like everybody's leaving but you. Unfortunately. You riding a ticket? You are? That's unusual. I thought usually you guys just exchanged information and didn't... Yeah, normally, normally that's how it is, unfortunately, whenever a vehicle has to be towed when it's disabled. Uh, even though it's disabled or whenever there's an injury, then we, we have to do a, uh, a crash report. And once we start doing crash reports, then we have to see if there's a violation of a uh, transportation code. If we determine there is a violation of transportation code, then we have to run it. Well, since you didn't witness that, how did you determine that? Statements. 
statements. Just some statements about the drivers as well as the damage location on both the vehicles. I guess if the lady admitted it, then you determined it that way. Yeah, a lot of times people do admit. Yeah. So, unfortunately, it's, it's one of those things. It's, so running it's a red of, light. It's, it's one of the, the no fun things about this. Right. Running a red light or failing to yield or what? Uh, no, it's just a, just, just a violation. It's one of the hazards. I mean, what's the ticket for? Is it running a red light or? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a violation of transportation code. That, that, that's what she's getting the, the citation for. And as far as exactly what it is, I mean, that's kind of her, her business. But she is, she is receiving a citation for a hazardous violation under the transportation. I mean, you know, I can find out. It's public information, right? Of course. But you're not. But you're not going to allow me to have that. No. You're going to make me jump through hurdles. Yes, sir. That's so shady. That's that, that's that's between her and, and the court. No, it's not. It's it public is. information. Exactly. It's between you so and you all of the people. To go downtown and file a request. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's, that's I, what I'm saying. You're right, no but. The spirit of the Freedom of Information Act is so that the people can get the information in the... You already have the information, sir. No, I don't know what violation you're writing her for. That's all I was it's trying... written for a hazardous violation. A hazardous? Uh -huh. what, do you, what do you mean hazardous? I mean, is that a code? Well, no, basically like a, like a hazardous violation. It's more like this. Um, I guess like the easier way to put it would be like a moving violation. Yeah, but like which one? I mean, can't you narrow it down? I don't know who she is or anything. I don't want to know that. I just... I know. I mean, can't you narrow it down to the specific code that you're charging her with? I don't know. I, mean, it's, I, I just took out half the violations for you. You know it's not an equipment violation. I know it's I know not an equipment violation. Right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The thing is, is that you're right, I can go and request it. Yes, sir. But what that's called is an unnecessary hurdle. Oh, because then I have to go and I have to involve another one of your um, your fellow officers. And then they have to chase down your report and stuff. And so it wastes taxpayer money as long as well as my time um, to find something out. See, you're the original holder of the information. That is correct. And so, technically speaking, a, f a freedom of information request can be made to anyone, provided that they're the holder of the information. Well, then what you need to do, you need to fill out the paperwork and then get it back to me so I can review it. That's another. That's another steps. fallacy. So we do actually have certain steps within our policies and, and how you go about uh, requesting all the information. That's another fallacy. Not, I can make not. it verbally to you right now, and you can write it down. Well, that is that is something that is between. Um, it's between her and the court until you actually do it's, it. You uh, keep saying that's for, private. It's not private. That's, it's that's public. Her, that's, that's her information. It's public information. So, but if, if you like more more details, like I said, she is in fact receiving this paper. Yeah. But, uh, but it is public yeah. information. Yeah. I mean, you keep saying it's between her and the courts. Once you go and do that, do that request, sir. But it can't be between her and the courts and public information. It can't be both. More than happy. But you're not. <laughs> you're less than happy. You're less than happy to give it to me. Less than happy? They're more than happy, but you, you're you oh, less get, than get, happy. I, I yeah. <laughs> You gotta be happy. No reason to be down. Yeah, you've been um, really cool. If every department was like Austin, letting people film. I mean, not that it's up to you, but um, you know, you guys don't. You guys don't seem to be bothered by cameras at all. See, well, that's the thing. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm huge. I'm huge for the Constitution. You know, sure. I mean, in, huge for the Constitution. Well, I mean, you know, yeah. obviously, filming is not in necessarily in the Constitution. You know. But, it doesn't say those words, but it no, does no, say well, to yeah, press. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It does say to press, exactly. and um, and I'm definitely pressing exactly. on right now. Yeah. And, and and that's the thing. I mean, and not not only that. I mean, we're, we we've been we've been filming people for years. Yeah. We've had we've had cameras in the car all the yeah. time. We've had microphones on us all the time. We just now moved to body cams, so now we're doing more filming. It's like how? Yeah. How, 
how, and business how, is how film. Gonna, exactly. All the business is film. Like, yeah. How how are we gonna sit here and tell someone, no, no, you can't you can't film me. You you gotta stop filming. We've been filming, we've been filming people for you. That's not fair. And using the same laws to do it, see, because you're in public, so that's why you've been allowed to do it without permission. Yeah. Is because you, I mean you do have permission when somebody yeah. goes in public, they're giving permission yeah. <laughs> to be in public, so, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Spiller. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. All right. 7950. All these APB doors are all messed up. See all the dings on that? I don't know if you can see them. Might have to get closer. So he said that that was one of the most unfortunate parts of his job, writing tickets. Maybe he doesn't like writing tickets, even though I noticed he has more than one at least already written today. So the ladies' car is gone. Maybe her son took it. Everybody's gone except for Spittler. So he's parked in a no parking spot. Doesn't say emergency vehicles only. Just says no parking. He's definitely taking his sweet time. Maybe he's stalling for dollars before break time. Before lunch. There's nothing worse than officers saying that it's between them and the courts. Yeah, right. How many tickets and arrests are made is public information for a reason. Because the people consider it of great concern to know exactly how much tyranny the Blue Line Gang is throwing down. And they are throwing down some serious tyranny. But in this case, there was a victim. So, I have no problem with the ticket. I mean, that's kind of the point of them, you know? I didn't know they had some distinguishing factor, like if the car was towed and there was personal injury, that that allowed him to find fault, but, so I don't know what he's going over there for. Maybe I'll follow him. Looks like he's going to Starbucks. Oh, the guy's sitting at Starbucks. That's what I'd be doing if, uh, if this was ever over. I don't know how much battery I have. Yeah, yeah. Well, did you almost make it to lunchtime or what? I was trying to. You're trying I was, to? I was, I was close, and then, and then this call actually, actually came out. So it was. Oh, I meant like is now it should be lunchtime. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it was kind of, kind of late for lunch now. That's already, it's already almost. It's actually one o'clock. But you don't miss it, right? You still get to take it. We can. Um, just the only bad thing is around now, it's it, it starts actually getting a little bit more busy for us. So oh, around I now? Yeah, so I mean, I personally don't really like taking lunch whenever it really starts getting busy because then I feel, I feel bad. What <laughs> kind of busy? In the, uh, just, just calls. We just get more calls. A lot of calls that aren't crimes, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man. For the most part. That's got to be frustrating. You probably yeah. want to solve some crime, you know? Yeah, you know, I mean... You get used to it after a while. Been doing yeah. it for nine years, so it's nine years. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're an officer. Yes. So, okay. You gonna take the sergeant test or what? Uh, corporal is coming. Corporal. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So do yeah. it, do it. More than likely, we'll, we'll see. All right. So. Well, if you see me on a stock, you know I'm no threat or oh. anything. 
no this is, I mean, obviously nobody was detained here, but, you yeah. know, on a traffic stop, I wouldn't be quite as liberal yeah. <laughs> if somebody's detained. Oh, of course. You know, I wouldn't interfere or anything yeah. like that. But this, I didn't consider anybody detained, so I felt like I could walk around yeah. and talk. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, 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 think, I think at this point, everybody should be used to seeing people filming us. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like I said before. I mean, I, I, we police has been filling filling people forever, so I don't I don't understand why people get upset about whatever. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, in different cities, they act different. You know, like mm-hmm. in downtown Austin, I mean, you have one extreme, right, where mm-hmm. people are just everywhere. They're walking yeah. in between your cars and the one yeah. you pulled over, and I'm like. Um, <laughs> these cops are really patient, right? And you go to other cities and they're like, I'm going to take you to the ground if you get within 20 <laughs> feet of me. And I'm like, what just, what, you know, what happened, right? Yeah. Like the, um, the law didn't change from one city to another, mm-hmm. you know, just cause you pull someone over doesn't mean that bystanders now have their rights removed. Mm-hmm. You know, they're mm-hmm. still free to travel. Like if you want to shut down a sidewalk, I guess you could under some circumstances, yeah, I mean, but depending, depending what, you, what, you'd have to yeah, shut it down for real. It's not like, yeah. you know, a traffic stop, I don't think warrants you to shut down a, a sidewalk. You know, if it was felony stop or... Yeah, like, I mean, that's, that, that's completely maybe, different. Yeah, know, but, but a typical moving just, violation, yeah, I don't think ever allows you the authority to shut down the sidewalk. You I mean, know, not, people can walk around your car. Oh, yeah. Um, like I wouldn't walk in between your car. Like if you had that guy pulled yeah. over right there, I wouldn't walk in between. Oh, you, would, you would be surprised at how many uh, people, people do it. Do that, and, I, and I don't think it's illegal. But I'm saying that I, mean, I, I wouldn't do it. Technically, technically I consider there's not. a little circle around you exactly. where you can walk up, and you know, like if I'm in your way of somewhere you need to get, then that could be impeding, yeah, right, or exactly. interfering. But, like, if I'm in front of the vehicle or behind your vehicle, you don't have to get either one of those places. No. You know, if I'm next to it, like, as long as you can walk through and not, you know, I mean, yeah. I, people get a lot closer than I do. <laughs> they do. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't feel the need to be right on, on, on top of you, you know, but... Mm-hmm. Never the but where is the line? There, there really isn't one. It's you not. Know? It's yeah. I mean, there's nothing set in stone of saying it's X distance away. It's, right. It's basically just gonna. It's, it's all gonna depend on on that officer. You know. I mean, if if that officer is if is, is comfortable with you, you know, being five feet away, then be five feet away. But if the next officer comes up and and he. He says, no, no, I don't, I don't want you that close to me. You need to back up. Maybe he feels more comfortable with you seven feet away. You know, I mean, it's, but there's no. But can he make you? That's the thing. Like, I mean, it, I mean, it, if you're on a public sidewalk like this, or if oh, I'm it, on a public sidewalk like this, I mean, I don't think he can make me move. No, I mean, it would, it would all, it would all depend on, on. I think his, he can make me stop. Justifications as far as, as far as safety reasons. Because that, that's what yeah. that's what it would ultimately come down to is basically an officer safety thing. And, well, I would say but, you but can tell me to stop. To, say again. You could tell me to stop. Well, no, as no, I that's, was approaching, that's different. That's different. That's, you could say stop, and yes, I would sir. stop. Yeah. But if I secure a spot, like I'm standing right here, I've been here five minutes, and then your backup officer gets there and is like, "You're interfering," you know, <laughs> that's not going to fly with me, right? I've already been here five minutes. Yeah. I haven't moved, you know. It's a little late, mm-hmm. but had you have told me to stop before I got here, yeah. I would have, yeah. you know, and then I would have been like, well, why, you know, but <laughs> I mean, there'd have to be a reason, but you are allowed some benefit of the doubt yeah. at the moment. Oh, okay. You know what yes. I mean? Oh, it's in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you say stop, I'm going to take your word for it at that time, yeah. you know, but then I expect there to be a valid reason afterwards, not like I didn't know you. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's not a good reason. <laughs> In fact, you're more likely to be harmed by somebody you do know. Eh, well, I mean, I don't All know. All crimes have a motive. Yes, but unfortunately, whenever you put on a uniform, this is their motive. That's it. Well, that does happen. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but let's be honest. It's very rare. It takes an extremely unrational 
or an irrational human being to attack a police officer. There, oh, I agree. It does happen. I, I do agree with that. I'm not saying it never happens, but it's rare on the grand scheme of things, mm-hmm. and um, you can't prepare for psycho. No. Right? There no, are crazy, all. you know, absolutely, but it just doesn't make sense. I mean, nobody has the advantage over police officers. You're, maybe in that moment you do, but you're going to get caught. You're probably going to end up dying. You know, the whole world is going to come down upon you. Mm-hmm. Nobody likes it when police officers yeah. get killed. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes it. We're, we don't want you guys to die. You know what I mean? Nobody mm-hmm. wants you to die, but we don't want to die either. Oh, of course. You know, of course. it's like you guys are, are supposed to be protecting our rights. Mm-hmm. We definitely don't want to die for your safety. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? That's like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst well, that, of it. it, it it's, it's funny that you, that you mentioned that because that, that, that's one thing that I always think of whenever, like, so, like, if I stop a car in West Campus or something. Sure. Yeah, you know, you know, got all these college kids and whatnot all over the place. Sure. Well, I mean, I, I guess I guess with them coming from, from different places, like, I, I guess they just don't understand, like, oh, no, like, you shouldn't walk in between cars, you know, in between right. the police car and the car that stopped. I don't know. It's a law. That, I'm just saying I wouldn't do it. Well, I wouldn't well no. It. Well, and that's, and that's the thing. It's that it's not... Technically, it's not exactly a law, but I mean, right. it still goes in that whole little bubble, right? Type of thing that, that we were saying. Common courtesy but kind exactly, of thing, yeah. Exactly. But it's but but see, and, that, and that's another thing that I always think of is is well, number one, say 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 we have no idea who this guy is. Press on. Uh-huh. Master by the name of Ace, smoking more than all fifty states combined. Yeah, right. I gotta stay on the grind. I got no money, so my weed's on my mind. I hit the club, but you know I can't dance. Seven and seven in my cutoff chance. Tied that shirt in my long ass hair. What well, part of how I look makes you think I care? 